What's up YouTube? I hope everybody's having a great day. It's finally spring and I'm really excited that I got to get my mower out today. But before I get to mowing, I wanted to make a quick video on the 4% rule. I know this channel is about ways to save money, financial independence, real estate, and 4% rule is very important when we're planning our financial independence journey. So let's jump in the sauna where I break it down. If you guys like this video, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Let's get into it. So what is the 4% rule? Well the 4% rule is basically a mathematical calculation called the Trinity study. A bunch of smart people got together, crunched the tons of math, predicted different ways that the market could turn using historical data and came up with that a 97% chance of success means that you can withdraw a maximum of 4% from this nest egg that you have accumulated. So what does all that mean? Well, it means that if, let's say you're in your 20s or in your 30s or even in your 40s and you're thinking about the future, you're thinking about when you're gonna be 50, 60, 70 years old and you wanna be able to retire. Well, how much money do you actually need? And that's what the Trinity study provides for us. It provides a way for us to plan the future in a way that we know that we can sustain ourselves and not have to rely on other people. This study also helps those who want to reach financial dependence or even retire early if it's possible with their income. So I just wanted to give you a general idea, break this down for you so you know what the 4% rule is. So this is how it works. Say you spend $50,000 a year on your expenses. This would include your housing, your food, your car bill, your gas, everything. Well, to get to what nest egg we need, all we have to do is multiply by 25. So 50,000 by 25 gets us $1,250,000. And what the 4% rule says is basically, once you reach this amount of money, you can then safely withdraw 4% per year and never run out of money. Now this money is gonna be invested in in the stock market and it'll be a combination of bonds and mutual funds different types of investment vehicles this isn't sitting under your pillow and because it's collecting interest every year and it's grown every year that means you can safely withdraw four percent per year and live off so if you reach this amount and you withdraw four percent well that gets you fifty thousand dollars and then the next year you can withdraw fifty thousand dollars and then the next year and basically the study says that there's a 97% chance of success rate, meaning that you can keep withdrawing 4% year after year after year after year, and this amount of money will never decrease. So what's amazing about this study is that you can basically plan how much you need to live off of, and the money that you're gonna be generating, once you pass away, you can leave this money to your to your children or to your relatives or donate to charity whatever you want to do with it and it will never decrease or it has a very low chance of decreasing through your retirement age okay so I did some research and I found out on average a family in the United States spends fifty one hundred dollars per month on their expenses this includes their housing their food their insurance payment everything so if we multiply that by 12, we're gonna get what, $61,200. So this is what people on average spend per year in America. Now some people spend more, some people spend less, but let's just look at the average. Well then I looked at what is the average mortgage payment when people own a home, what are they paying on average in the United States? And I found out that that was around $1,500 per month. So that comes out to $18,000 per year. So let's run through a situation here. Let's say you are 22 years old and you just graduated college and you got a job and you're making an average salary of let's say between 65 and $67,000 per year. That's the average salary in the United States. Well, if you buy a house 
and you finance it for 30 years, that means that at the age of somewhere around 52, you will have a paid off house. That means you're gonna be able to live on a lot less money, so you won't have this $18,000 expense anymore at age 52. So if you subtract this, you're gonna get $43,000 thousand and two hundred dollars is what you're gonna be living off of year after year because you won't have the mortgage payment now let's say you wanted to figure out how much of a nest egg you need in order to to retire to be able to afford this well all we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply this by 25 so we get one million and eighty thousand dollars so now let's work this backwards let's go back to from being 52 years old where you have your mortgage paid off back to being 22 years old. How much do you have to set aside in order to achieve this amount of money? So check this out. If you start, let's say we're starting at 22 years of age. If you save your money for 45 years and we're assuming an 8% per year growth, it means at 45 years, that will get you to being 67 years old. Over this course of 45 years, all you have to save is $207 per month. That's it. At the age of 67, you will have $1,080,000 in your investment account. Let's say you wanna be more ambitious and you want to save for 30 years and that's gonna put you at 52 years old. You will have to set aside $762 per month. Now let's say you wanna be more ambitious and you have a bigger income. Say you make over $100,000. Well, if that's the case and you wanna retire at 42 years old, you will have to save $1,886 per month for 20 years now get you $1,080,000. Now let's say you make more money or you live even more frugally. You really want to go at it. So 15 year outlook, that will put you at 37 years old. You will have to save $3,300 per month. Okay, now you might be thinking, well, there's no way I can save $1,000 per month. There's no way I can save $3,300 per month. And that might be true. And there's no shame in that. Everybody makes different kinds of money, but the whole point of this exercise is to kind of see how you can actually calculate and how you can come up with a plan. Now, you don't have to stretch it out to being 67 years old in order to become a millionaire. If you save $762 per month and you're 22 years old right now, there's a high chance that at 52 years old, you can become a millionaire by just saving $762 per month. Also, with this exercise, you can figure out what you actually need. How much money do I actually spend per month? And for some people, $5,100 is a lot of money. Maybe you're only spending $2,500 per month. Well, multiply 2,500 by 12, that will get you your annual expenses, and then multiply that by 25, and that will tell you how much money you need in your nest egg in order to withdraw 4% and live off the interest. So I hope you guys like this video. I'm gonna have more videos, more in-depth calculations, how you can plan your future, especially for those who are in their 20s, 30s. If you guys like this, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Thanks guys.